Hello, and welcome to another edition of Science by Mr. Healy. In today's episode, we'll be looking at the use of an ammeter with sigmatron boards and series circuits. So we've looked at sigmatron boards in previous episodes working with series circuits. Now let's look at the use of an ammeter with these boards. Now, just to let you know, this is what an ammeter and a bolt meter look like. Not correct. Actually, these are digital multi-timers or multi-readers. But just for sake of differentiation, we'll be make one of them an ammeter and the other a voltmeter. We'll see both meters in a later episode, but for now, the ammeter will be in blue color. Now again, we're using a jumper and a resistor for our connections. And of course, we're using a design plan to help us prepare for the work of work with uh, sigma charm boards. Now this is the series, this is the uh, series circuit that I want to create with an ammeter right here, a resistor, and a power supply with positive and negative terminals. Now, as an option, our first option would be to put our jumper here and our resistor there, and we've made ourselves a closed circuit. Now, to connect an ammeter, I need a gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this jumper out of the way, bring my ammeter, connect it with a black and red wire, and voila, I've got myself a reading. Now, you may get a negative reading, and this happens because you've switched the wires or connected them improperly. Now, the way to connect the wires is that the po positive terminal of the power supply has to be facing the positive terminal of the ammeter, and the negative terminal of the power supply has to be negative to facing the negative terminal of the ammeter. So, another option would be to place my resistor a bit further back, but again, same idea. I'm going to move this jumper out of the way and connect, bring my ammeter connected here, and again, positive to positive, negative to negative, and I get the same reading. Now let's try something different. Let's say if I have two jumpers and a resistor. Now I have two options. I can either move this resistor, this jumper out of the way or this jumper out of the way to connect my ammeter, but I will be getting the same reading. So I move this one, put my ammeter, connect, and voila, I have 0 0.5. Now in the fourth option, I'm going to have the same circuit, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move both these, this jumper and this resistor out of the way. And I'm going to connect my ammeter here, and I'm going to bring my resistor, and voila, I have myself a reading of 0 0.5. So again, the reading is the same everywhere. Now, let's work with the actual sigmatron board. So there's my jumper, there's my resistor. I'm going to move my jumper out of the way, and I'm going to connect my ammeter here, and voila, I've got myself a reading of 0 0.5. Let's try another option. Now, I've got two jumpers and a resistor, and I have the option of either putting my ammeter here, here, or even moving my resistor around and putting my ammeter here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this jumper, connect my ammeter, and of course I'm going to get myself again a 0.5 amps reading. That's it. 